Marguerite, can you say something about the way in which a quilt develops as you as you start to create it and what you're looking for and how you, how you balance certain things as that process progresses? Well, it's, I might have to give you a, a specific example. Um, I, I have things that I've always been interested in, and let's say one of them is the subject of clowns. You know, I've bought clown makeup. I've made myself clown uh, costumes. So whenever I had seen clown fabric, I used to collect it. And then at one point, I would find a new piece that would be so exciting, and I would look into my clown drawer, pull it out, and see if I had enough um, fabrics to put something together on the subject of clowns. And in this case, uh, this particular one, I started doing a mandala, but it didn't work very well, and it was much more interesting uh, to do it in rows and make it more of a carousel uh, feel to it. And that one is quite a different one than any of the other ones I had done. But, but it seems to, the, the, fabric, the, the fabric itself seems to suggest what the uh, organization and pattern is going to be.